This is my ride right here. Uh, her name is Sharice Joplin, full name, Sherry for short. She's a 1998 Yamaha V-Star. Derek, what do you ride? Um, this is a 1986 Yamaha Virago, and her name is Alita. Finally back up and running. Yeah, finally. That is a pretty bike, dude. Hell yeah. So this is Derek. Derek, I have one question for you. What's up? How do you feel that this bike and that bike are both older than me, but still younger than you? <laughs> that was not. That was not. That, that was, was not? That one's 34 years old, and I'm 32. So okay, well, that bike is two years older. That bike has still lived double my life, pretty much. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's cute. So we're going to romp around, do some little, like, cafe mobbing type stuff. Uh, just have a good day on the bikes overall. So we'll keep you updated. Make sure First stop of the day is Sonic. We're both fucking hangry, dude. Uh, Derek's bike is leaking a little bit of oil and it's just kind of making a cool smoke effect. But I think we'll be fine overall. A cool smoke effect. A cool smoke effect. Yeah. But uh, about to get some grub in us and then the journey begins. spot of the day was called what was this place well coffee, co. well coffee co you know you're always down for a good coffee when you walk in and you see not neutral cups uh lined up on top of the machine uh the dudes are Ooh, super cool good. man hell yeah Ooh. the dudes are really really cool what'd you get eggnog eggnog, eggnog, eggnog cap, cap and i just got a trad cortado um but these dudes were sick man we even got a little latte art on there Ooh, just a little just a little guy No face, no case! <laughs> Alright, so next stop is Union Coffee. And we say we got we got Kayla. And then we got Ryan. Yep. Ryan, this the place is of, on the corner of 59th Ave and Thunderbird. It's been here for about three years. Mobbing through. Place looks super tight. I love the modernism. They're rocking with a Diedrich, which is what uh, my last place used. I really like these Diedrichs, man. They're super cool. Oh yeah. But yeah, so get a little bit more caffeinated, a little more liberated, and hit the roads again. Yep. So Derek actually like built this bike up from like the frame and uh, it's been down for how long now? About a month. A month, it'd been down for a month. We ended up going from a dual carb to a single carb on it, hoping that would fix it. There were still some problems after that. And then we had a problem with the fuel pressure regulator, which you guys saw in that earlier clip. But uh, he's getting some weird smoke from up in here, that hole right there that you can see. And we're trying to figure out what it is. It hasn't really affected the bike's performance much. Not really. But it's definitely enough to kind of keep us, start. yeah, exactly, keep us wary. So we're just pulling over right now. We're stopped. Uh, just kind of going to let it cool down. Make sure everything's cool with it because this is its maiden voyage since being repaired. And we're running it pretty hard today. So uh, we just want to keep everybody's bikes up and running and safe. That is always the end goal. So uh, I think right now we're looking at mobbing over to... Copper Star? Uh, cop, uh, Copper Star. 
No. Yes. Yeah. Copper Star Coffee. Yep. Copper Star Coffee, which is off of like 7th Ave and uh, Campbell. Campbellback. So we made a pit stop, man. We're at a place in uh, like Central Phoenix. It's called Lawn Gnome. Um, there's currently an author here doing a segment of live reading for his newest book that he's just published, which is super tight. Um, I believe we're talking to Aaron of Lawn Gnome Coffee. This dude seems really cool, man. So uh, get an oat milk honey vanilla latte. I'm just going to stick with a double shot and a couple of muffins, dude. So hell yeah. So we just got out of, uh, what was that place called? Um, the Garden Gnome or something. Garden Gnome. Lawn, Lawn Gnome. Lawn Gnome. Lawn Gnome. Yeah. And uh, turns out that there was like a live poetry reading tonight, which was super sick, dude. And you then can actually see it just barely behind yeah. you right there. Hell yeah. yeah. Dude's name is Nikolai. He absolutely murdered it. Uh, gave out free like copies of his book, which was super tight. Which will include pictures. Absolutely. So if I can track down his social media and stuff, I'll definitely link him in the description. But he's a, it was really cool, man. It was totally and, worth it. And to be fair as well, the coffee shop itself, fantastic. Yeah, it was guy. really good. The owner yeah, no. runs it himself. Yeah. Um, he actually lives there too because this whole district is repurposed houses that people like buy the homes. And then like there's one of them that's a bar, uh, which is the Lost Leaf, which is my favorite place. And then there's oh, a coffee shop next door and people live there. And then they also run a business. It's out, really cool. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, we'll definitely like drop some links in. The coffee was great, man. Can't complain. You had the uh, vanilla, uh, honey, vanilla, vanilla honey lime. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. super good. Probably the best With one the I've oat milk. So far. Probably yeah. the best one I've had. It was so great, far. man. And he says that he uses a local roaster that pretty much uh, a majority of the people on this strip are using. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll see if I can find it. Uh, so now we're about to mob over and go get some food. I think we're kind of done with the coffee side of things tonight. I think so. Coming yeah. up next is definitely food. Maybe another brewski or two. It just kind of sure. depends. For sure. Feel it out. Hell yeah. Um, and then it's going to be mobbing around just a little bit dope scenery. Hell yeah. Kind of so, like that. Let's yeah. hit it, dude. Let's do it. Fuck yeah.